Look at that, my real. Now look at it. It came up hard. Yeah, Tesla Model 3. One of them little three series. This fool just got his update at the red light flexing and shit. Trying to roll up on me all hard just because he got his little upgrade update. You won't see me on the track, though. You won't see me on the track, though, but check this out. Okay, I spent a little bit off the line. Boom, right there. Drop down. Let off of it. Okay. That little thing cool, guys. I ain't playing with you. YouTube, it's your boy C Span Kurt, and we out here rolling in the 2018 C63S. And I'm just coming to you to tell you a little bit about what it took for me to get this car to run 1113. Ran that thing at 124 miles per hour like a boss, and had minimal upgrades. I'm telling you, the amount of upgrades that I put into this car, as far as cost wise, to the amount that you could look up and see other people doing, the numbers is not a big difference you know what i'm saying and i did it on street tires i did it on street tires keep in mind michelin pilot um super sports michelin pilot super sports but on um, yeah ran that thing 1113 okay so i'll be posting little videos down the bottom so you can see each one as i hit on each topic but the first upgrade that i did to my car canon air filters not a big upgrade but hey more air you can get to flow into that intake to that engine the better. I mean, that's gonna give you some horsepower right there. But I, I went with the Canon air filters. I ordered those off of. I ordered them directly from Canon. Threw those babies up in there, and can't say that I felt something immediately from that. But that was the first upgrade that I did. Okay. The next upgrade that I did. You see the video down below. Had my secondary cats deleted. Deleted the secondary cats. That I could tell a difference. Okay. It sounded a whole lot better. It was throatier. The sound was different, and you know, I, I had got a little wheel spin that I didn't normally get. Just a little bit, you know. You know, you can tell your car. You can tell when it's gonna break traction based on how you drive it on a regular basis. And a bit of road traction after I got that in secondaries deleted, and I was like, whoa, my car ride so dang hard not slow i'll be putting power down like whoa but anyway that was a second that's a second modification i did and keep in mind i only did three modifications all together all right so the next modification i did was a major modification that was um that was a super chips gts black um modification to it was a um, performance enhancer. It was a piggyback module. You know, you plug it in, and that thing give you a whole bunch of added horsepower. Okay. So, yeah. Now that thing right there, whoo! That woke my car up. That was a beast right there. I'm telling you, that's what did it right there. And that car break traction all the time, without a break, without an issue at all. I'm saying that thing go. I mean. Comfort mode be on kill mode. I like driving in comfort mode now with the GTS Black because it's quiet and it just be like a dog on electric car the way that thing pull. You know what I'm saying? This man, get the hell out of my way. But anyway, it be like that thing just be pulling. I mean, dang, be quiet 
and it's like unsuspecting because people be looking for some exhaust sounds coming from a car that's putting down that power and on. Might as well be quiet as hell. stock right now I got the box out and that's another great thing I like about it is um it doesn't require you to do it doesn't require you to do any of that type of um going to the ECM or none of that stuff you just um plug in a few harnesses in between sensors and voila that's it that thing is on um, like whew, kill mode like beast mode for real though but yeah man I'm telling you those upgrades is what did it. I mean, it took my car to a whole nother level. If you see in the video, you'll see my car was chirping all the way through the gears. I mean, like every single gear down the track, you can hear the tires chirp all the way through fourth gear. I was like, wow, that's crazy. And another thing that could have got me a better time is you'll see that I use race start from the line and where race start, it limits it, it limits certain things in the car. Even though I had traction control all the way off, race mode and everything, race start still limits certain abilities of the car to keep it from wheel hopping and things like that. You'll notice when I took off, that had that thing almost in the red. You can see it tapping off the red when you got the race start going on, and that shit just, um, it kind of feathered off the line. I mean, it came off the line good, but it still kind of feathered off to avoid from all. Um, avoid from um, having any wheel hop so that's what that's all about but if you were to use the foot brake method I think you could do a whole lot better off the line but you want to put a lot more torque to those wheels off the line which is why I recommend some type of high high performance radio I don't know um, a GT what are the, the tires that come with the Corvettes the um the cup twos it might be a pretty good alternative for the track to get better traction where you can still say you got street tires but i'd probably say some um some street slicks some slicks something that's gonna need some super grip so that you don't spin when you're coming off that line right there you feel me so anyway this is your boy c-spec kurt just wanted to come share with you the modifications that it took to get me into the to an 11 one my car, I'm telling you, it's a 10 second car. It's a high 10 car. It just got, it just would take me to finesse off that line. I mean, I'm sure I can knock off, what, one millisecond, what, point? I think I ran an 11.13. I'm sure I can knock off 0.15 if I was to launch that thing the right way, as well as on um, have better traction going down the track where I'm not chirping tires and any of that stuff. All right, so it's your boy C-Spec Kurt. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Share this with other C63 owners, you know, that's trying to get that power. That GTS Black only ran me on $850. So if you get it, get the application. I'm telling you, don't be cheap and try to save $50. Get the application so that you can have it on your phone and control it via your phone so you ain't gotta be constantly going under the hood, touching stuff and doing things. It's unnecessary when you got it all that's gonna be in stuff on an electronic device, so. Anyway, it's your boy C-Spray Kurt. Please like, share, subscribe to the video. Thank you for watching, and your boy is out of here. I'm out of here. I'm about to be in the wind in my 16, in my 18 C63. Okay, I'm about to be killing this shit. All right, peace.